Okay, these kind of problems uh, will involve you just coming up with the equation only. We don't need to do a graph, just the equation only. So, what you want to do here is the points that they give you in these problems, the most important thing to do is you want to plot those points first. The reason why is because if we plot those, that's going to give us an idea of which direction the parabola opens up to, and also we'll be able to tell what model to use out of the ones that, that are in the notes. So let's first start by plotting this information. So we want to find this the equation only. We're not doing any kind of graph here, this equation. But I need to have a graph at least to initially so I can tell uh, what the equation will be. So I have 0, 0 is here, and then negative 4, 0 is here. So the vertex is here, and the focus is there. The, your curve is always going to open up towards the focus. So what I know from this is that you're going to have to have a parabola that opens up to the left. The reason why is because that curve has to actually include the, uh, the focus. So because it includes that, I know for sure it opens up to the left. I also know that I have a vertex of 0, 0. I want to go into my notes, I want to look at the models, and look for a parabola that's centered at 0, 0 that opens up to the left. And if I look at my models, this is the equation that I would get for that. y squared equals negative 4ax. That's for parabolas, again, opening up to uh, the left, centered at 0, 0. So basically, I have almost the whole thing complete now. I just need to figure out what my a value is. The definition of a, that is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So actually, this distance right here, that would be the a value from this point over to uh, this point here. So because that's the a value, I automatically know now what the a has to be. My a value has to equal 4 based on this picture. I can just count the number of places there, and I know what that is. So all we have to do now is we just put negative 4, we put in a 4 uh, for the a value from our picture. We're just going to simplify it, and that gives us negative 16x. So y squared equals negative 16x, that will be the equation for this curve. Okay, next one, we want to find the equation of the parabola. The focus is 2, 4, and directrix is at x is equal to negative 4. So first thing you want to do is plot, plot this one, and also we're going to draw in the directrix. So let's do that first. We have 2, 4 is right here. Okay, so we have 2, 4, and then the directrix is at x is equal to negative 4. That's a vertical line going through here. Okay. We need to find, first of all, we have to find the vertex because the vertex will tell us then what formula we're going to use. So your vertex, to find that, we know that it's got to be exactly halfway between the directrix and the focus. That's the definition of your vertex. So it's got to be exactly halfway in between here. So this distance over there from here to here is distance of 6. So it means that I want to find the one that splits it up into three in each direction. So three going that way and three going the other direction. So that right there, that point would be your vertex. So my vertex I automatically know now is going to be negative one four. That's the that's we're done with that. Now that we know the vertex, we need to now t see which one which formula we're going to use as, or mo the model we'll start with uh, in order to get our answer. Well, in this case, your parabola always opens up towards the focus. So in this case, it's going to actually be opening up to the right because the curve has to actually include the focus there. So I want to look for a model where it's centered at HK. I know it's not centered at 0, 0. We just found the coordinates here. And for one that opens up to the right. That one is going to be Y minus K squared equals positive 4A x minus h. That's the, that's the base model we're going to look at. Now I already know my h and k because that comes directly from my vertex. Now my a value is going to be the distance from your vertex to the focus. That distance right there, that's going to be 3. In fact, it's, it's also 3 going from this back to the director. So either or, we know that the a value direct, taken directly from the picture, that's going to be 3. Now we can put all this information into the formula here and get the answer. So I have y minus k, y minus 4 squared equals 4 times the a. I'll just put a 3 in there for that. And I have x minus negative 1. 
Now I'm just going to simplify this. y minus 4 squared will equal 12 times x plus 1. And that's going to be your final answer. We have the, the uh, goes through that particular vertex because we plugged in the information for it. And we, we put the correct A value in and everything. So this will be our final answer. Okay, for this one, we're given the vertex 3, 0. Directrix is y equals 2. Let's plot the vertex and draw in the directrix. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have 3, 0 is right here. Uh, directrix is at y equals 2. Okay, so y equals 2 is going to be right here. What this tells me is that the parabola is going to open down. Now, how do I know that? It's because the parabola always opens in the opposite direction as the directrix here. So because of that, I know for sure it's going to be opening down. So I want to look for one of the models that's centered at HK that opens down. So if I look at my notes, for the mo different models, then this is the one that matches. It'll be negative 4a because it opens down, and I have y minus k. So that's the, the base model I want to work with here. Now the 3, 0, that's h and k, so I already have that given from our initial vertex. The a value is going to be this distance right here. It's the distance from the vertex to the directrix. That's my a value. So now I have everything that I need to put in. I have x minus h, h is 3. I have uh, this one, negative 4 times a. a we already said here was 2. We can read that off the picture. And then I have y minus k, y minus 0 in this case, because that's, uh, that's the k value from my vertex. When I simplify it, x minus 3 squared will equal negative 8y. And then that's, that's all I can really do on that one. So this would be your final equation.